Hey guys, this is uh, Cruz Roy with that Leader Hobby $9 heli. Um, this is five hours build time right here. Uh, I got five hours into it so far. I have the servos in. Um, what I did notice though, see the cutouts in the CNC? The CNC cuts in the uh, carbon fiber. They give you these cool little uh, slide in servo nuts. They like slide in and you can adjust them to tighten up the servos. I kind of like that. Um, the only problem is they're really, really tight. And if you notice right here, I was trying to push one and I made a little scratch in the carbon fiber. Uh, nothing serious, it's, it's just scratch. They're really hard to move in. These nine gram servos, very, very tight. You have to push them steadily and even in, into the hole, but they, they go okay. Um, but they're very very tight um, what I did notice it did not come with any skid nuts I'm gonna have to purchase some rubber skid nuts it's just a uh, plastic skid so the kit was missing skid nuts uh, also this is all my placement on the ESC the Hobby King uh, I just got it there temporarily, but I'm going to put some Velcro here. But I, I think I'm going to put the uh, ESC here, keep it away from the front. Uh, the receiver is going to sit on the gyro uh, platform here that they give you, because I'm going to put the Asan way up top. I know people are afraid of boom strikes, but this one's so tiny, you know, and also I can see the light better up here. Um, so skid nuts didn't come with it. Uh, this is what I'm left with so far for screws. Some of them are the servo screws and a couple of parts that I'm... I think some of them are extra. i got to figure that out. Uh, it does come with uh, tail blades, but they're kind of, you know, those are those 99 cent tail blades. So I was thinking about picking up some carbon fiber. They're only about two bucks. And uh, also, I forgot earlier when I was talking about this, they d it doesn't come with main blades. So I have this package of stealth main blades. They're not painted. They're like the white ones that I use mostly on all my helis. But uh, these are just pure carbon fiber. They're just uh, black looking, you know. So I'll use those. I had those. Also, it doesn't come with a canopy. So I'm going to be giving her my uh, custom canopy I painted myself. And uh, that's what's going to be going on there. She's got one little chip in her, but she'll uh, do. Uh, so, I mean, it went together pretty well for five hours worth of work. I mean, I still have to solder bullet connectors on and my Dean's connector for the battery. Um, I did not put an aligned gear in. I did use the, uh, the gear that came with it. It seems to be pretty smooth. So we'll use it at first. The worst that's going to happen, I'll chew the teeth off. What I did notice is the boom support back here, it actually looks like you could buy that uh, torque tube set up and it would fit. I mean, it's not the same as my Hobby Kings. It's actually all one piece in here with the drive gear and uh, the belt pulley and everything seems to be all molded into one plastic piece here. Um, also, another thing I noticed, it didn't come with fly-by weights. Um, I think I have some hanging around here. Uh, I don't know if you're really supposed to you need them, I guess. Maybe you don't need them, but I've always used them, so I might have a set around here. Um, but, like I said, that's, you know, five hours worth of work. There's your uh, tail. Uh, everything went together fairly smooth. I mean, it's not a, a bad heli. I got the motor in there. I got the Turnigy motor. Uh, it did come with uh, two different, two sets of uh, bolts for the a different type type of motor if you wanted. So I was lucky. The uh, bolts in there fitted the uh, Turnigy motor that I picked up. So I didn't have to go looking for bolts. I mean, and I checked everything and Loctited everything, and I checked the head. The only thing I don't like is. The feathering shaft, I went to loosen it up, and boy, does it feel like if you turn it, you're going to break the nut right inside the feathering shaft. So 
it's pretty tight but what I gotta deal with I gotta this is awfully awfully stiff here it doesn't move as freely as it should so I'm gonna try to get some uh, uh, oil in there and, and see if we can get it to smoothen it up a little bit also I noticed that my Hobby King the, the length from the blade grip is adjustable these are solid so that's kind of like the pro I guess the pros like that it's kind of a solid length but uh, I still didn't do all the links yet for the servos but like I said this is just an update of uh, what I've done in five hours and uh, I got all the servos in and I wasn't missing anything which was a good thing for a nine dollar kit um, so hopefully you like the update and uh, I'll have to update you again when I get it closer to being finished and then probably we'll have a flight video alright thanks for watching